getting hitched at Hogan's. Eight couples are tying the knot this weekend after the pandemic interrupted their wedding plans. Excitement all around from family and friends who attended these one hour mini ceremonies, as Hogan's calls them. A long awaited reunion for some. Well, it's the first time I've seen my dad in a year and a half. So I'm probably going to cry just from that. <laughs> a Connecticut spot with a long history. Hogan Cider Mill has been making cider since 1912. Now new memories to add after a difficult year. We figured everyone's been through so much this past year and a half, so we wanted to give back to our community. We've had people that have lost family members. We've had people that have lost their jobs and had to scale back their plans. Event coordinator Margaret Borlet came up with the idea. Her family owns the mill. I myself was married at that very arch two years ago. A lot goes into planning all these weddings on the same day, let alone one. But Borla had some help. The photos, flowers and food all donated from local businesses. No one has said no about helping out. Just everyone really just, you know, wants to help people in these crazy times. The couples come from different walks of life, but one thing in common excitement to finally walk down the aisle. Chris and Jennifer Hesh making it official after eight years. I thought it was cute at first. <laughs> what do you think of him now? He's still cute. Yeah. <laughs> and a Newington couple with a love story 26 years in the making. We waited too long <laughs> through the COVID and everything. Michael and Michelle Eastwood met in high school and reconnected on Facebook a few years ago. Now stepping into a new era of love. Now that pandemic restrictions are easing, the indoor tap room here at Hogan's is back open. The organizer tells me they've had such an incredible response with this event. They're thinking of holding it again next year. Reporting in Burlington, Alicia Machado, Fox 61 News.